A while back I saw a couple of cats sitting on the fence watching a game of tennis. And one cat sort of nudges the other and points to one of the players and said, My old man's in that racket. It had served as a cinema for the Port Stephens area, this particular part of Port Stephens anyway. But these days, it is a uh, community hall. Boating takes place here whenever state or federal elections are on or even local council elections. Up that way is the marina or a boat ramp anyway. The name of this particular road along here is Ridgeway Avenue and the marina down that way. We'll have a look at that in a moment. But right now what we're going to do is take a walk along the street. So here we go. Soldiers Point Road. Rather quiet at times. Well a little bit busier now than it usually is. This is Frank's favourite park, because it's called Spencer Park. Mm. No cats doing whoopsies here though. Tennis courts over there. Housing units. And there's the name. Spencer Park. What am I? What am I beret? What am I country? Let's just take a pause here for a moment. Peninsula waters. There's so many up this end of the town. There's a lot of these units. Rather classy. Another over here. There's still more down here. Cafe, which, as the sign says, is open. This had been connected with the cafe originally, it was a shop run by the same people who uh, run the cafe, the sales cafe. But uh, these days, it's, uh, they've given up the lease on this place, so they have just concentrated on the, uh, on the cafe, and this place has now become a, a sort of a Hogs and Zonks, um, sort of uh, chicken and goods place. And the door is just opening up. Okay. It's me, I'm back again. Yeah, hey, you're back. Oh, well, well, well. well that's after after two years, I decided to reopen the shop.
the fellow who runs it, uh, Lindsay Cleland, who uh, used to have his shop just a little bit up here. While I was living here, this place was just starting to be built. And I lived here from about 2003 through to the first couple of months of 2011. That unit up there is where I lived. The one with the long balcony and up there was unit 3 and then units 2 and 4 were in the back. And as we move along, this place was just being built while I was here as well. And much of it stood empty for quite a while. Housing units all along here on both sides of the street. Private residences above, businesses below. Bundoba. Bennett Lane Another building going up here Like as not, it'll probably be more units Empty ground here that's been vacant for quite a while and overgrown Styles and how much trade here she gets. A few, I'd say. Private residences, of course. This one might be a work in progress. I've still got to put uh, steps on this front door to access it. Otherwise, it'll be watch out for that step, it's a doozy. Now, this place here is interesting. It stands empty for quite a while. I think it's maybe just summer rental. Scrubble patch where they park their vehicles. And we come up on Brown Avenue. And down that way you go to uh, Kent Gardens and you'll go past the uh, Oval Primary School. Okay, I'll we'll take a cut here. Along here are holiday rentals, including this one right here on the corner. We 
got Brown Street here and we've got Sunset Boulevard, an interesting name for a road, right there. And some of these are private owners, but as I said, some of them are holiday rentals. Because, of course, um, this place is well known for holiday makers. And there's a cute little poochie. I just made your little poochie a star on my video. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> this is fairly new. I wonder when they put this in. This concreted uh, slab with a couple of picnic tables. This wasn't here the last time I was here. It's been done fairly recently by the look of it. And of course... That... Uh, here, going out to some uh, moored boats. This is one part of the Del Bora Marina setup. In the distance there, the Del Bora Marina, the yacht club. And some rather classy looking places along here. Let's take a walk along what is called Sunset Beach. Caribou. Now, a local celebrity who was big in the 1960s lived along here at one time, but she moved over to a place called Kent Garden, which is behind me a considerable distance. Well, that's a rather obvious claim. The beach house. There's a bit closer look at the uh, Del Bora Marina. And looks to be the tide is out. We carry on. You might say this is an example about how the other half lives. Holiday home specialists. Yes, well, they made a little nook in front of their garage. They would have kept a boat in there. I don't think it would have kept a car for certain. Now, this may well be the place where Judy Stone once lived. Judy Stone, of course, she's uh, famous in the 60s. She appeared on Bandstand and several other shows. She recorded for Festival up until about 1972-73 where she switched to M7 and then turned up on Polydor. Well, Judy, if you're watching, I heard that Polydor was going to merge with Warner Brothers and Arnott's Biscuits and the new the little poochie barking away and the new entity was going to be called Polly Warner Cracker 
Okay, I bet she's groaning at that one. <coughs> yes, the little poochie's pretty agitated. Moving right on on. More of the ritzier style of home. This one's a duplex. And we're getting closer to the Delbora Marina. It'll probably cost you an arm and a leg and several toes besides to buy one of these places. They wouldn't uh, sell for anything under a million. And here's another rather posh looking place. Again, holiday home winning, KD winning looking after this place. And here's another one of these new boat storage and picnic table, only this one, oh this one's all, all the mod cons, all the luxuries, it's got shelter on it. And a rather steep slope down to the water's edge. Yeah, mate, there you go. Not too bad. We shall continue. We'll take a cut here. More. More rather richy looking places. And the Delbora Marina at close of look. Because these are the missing links. And the board with chisel drafts. Soldiers Point Marina, part of the Del Bora setup. So, here we are. We're empty up here. Okay. We're pretty much back where we started. This is just a move along Ridge, Ridgeway Avenue. Entry or the exit, I should say, to the uh, Thalwalla 
resort. Rather expensive booking in there. And there of course is our community hall and former cinema. And that brings us to the end of this little uh, walkabout. That's over.